Corey here, founded his kingdom podcast, and we're kind of going to jump to the dark side. We're going to kind of talk a little bit about Universal in this episode, about some of the recent changes and stuff that's been going on over there. Um, so first off, we're going to be talking about um, Kung Fu Panda, a little bit about Fast and Furious, and it's me, Mario, and the Super Mario World that is kind of being the world is now being built over in Japan, and obviously we know it's coming to Florida as well. So. Let's kick things off first off with um, the Fast and Furious. I believe it's that, that new attraction is set to open in the spring next year. That is right. I have passed it a few times myself. I had a pleasure to look at the cars myself with my very own eyes. I'm very excited for it. Is it going to be a stunt show like um, car, like you know, was it motorsports action kind of thing, or what? What is this actual thing? Is it because I'm going to be honest? As I said, I've been I've been kind of on and off the internet for a week while I've been moving house, so I've kind of I've kind of missed this attraction completely. What actually is it going to be? Um, uh, based on what I've heard, I know it, I think it's going to be the same version that Universal Studios Hollywood have, which is basically screens and all right, <laughs> in, a, in a car vehicle. <laughs> ah, all right, okay. So we basically got Transformers and Spider Man kind of thing. I suppose as basically, well. Yeah. yeah, I suppose as well as that thing of kind of. Doing a stunt show takes up a lot of space. It's a lot more risky. There's a lot more people to um, injure and stuff. Um, I just remember, you know, I've always liked stunt shows. I always like watching the, the cars one that they do. Um, I remember watching a police academy one at at the Warner Brothers theme park in Australia and stuff. And just you know, that was always kind of fun. But you know, the idea of a Fast and Furious attraction, I think, is a great move. I'm surprised it's taken them so long because we're on to the eighth movie. Um, I know every time I've been to the parks and they've had the cars out, I've always taken photographs of the chargers and stuff. And you know, I'm not a car person, but even I go, that's Vin Diesel's car. <laughs> right, that, and that's exactly what I did when I first saw. I know Vin Diesel's car. That's I'm like, oh, it's here in my presence. I'm not working, but <laughs> I can already. I feel like it would have fit better as a stunt show, but based on like how the building looks, how big it is. Um, rest in peace, Beetlejuice show, because I did love it. That's what took over, but... Mm, it's but quite a small I feel area, like it's going to be... Pretty... Yeah, it's very small, which I'm kind of surprised about. That's why I was like, well, it's definitely not a fun show, but I, mm. I don't... That's, I mean, I guess they're using a bit of backstage area, too, as well. I can only mm. assume. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, because I was only mentioning... I was only just mentioning to my um, sister-in-law about the Beetlejuice show literally just before we before we started recording this because she's going out there for a honeymoon later this year. I'm going, oh, you got different shows at Universal. Oh, yeah, the Beetlejuice show's great. And like, nope, that one's gone. This <laughs> is like, because um, I always enjoyed that one. I always thought it was sort of a bit naff, but a bit funny at the same time. Um, but again, it's a franchise that is that is kind of. As we've discussed on another episode, you know these franchises again old a bit, and they've not really done a lot with them. Yeah, and, and it, but the thing is, we do have those rumors every now and again that you know they're rebooting Beetlejuice mm -hmm. just because they're rebooting so many old films, you know, old yeah. classic films like um, I can't think of any off the top of my no. head, but. You know, it's always, it's always in the back of people's minds. Yeah, I mean, for me, a Fast and Furious attraction is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. That, that franchise, they're going to be, we're going to have to put the Fast and Furious 22 before we know it. Um, they've also announced that Kung Fu Panda is going to be taking over from Shrek 40. When's that taking place? Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Well, I definitely heard about the Shrek 4D thing, which is sad because my roommate was supposed to work that attraction. <laughs> Not anymore. But um, I'm hearing like 2018, 2019, because you know how Universal, they yeah. they want a, one attraction every year, at least one every year. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was. Yes, it's, it's, it was coming, it's, it's, at Holly, it's at Universal Studios Florida. Oh, sorry, Universal Studios yeah. um, Hollywood um, is going to be done. for. I'm going to be gathering, to be honest, that um, if once they've made the movie, they're going to want to use it. Um, yeah, so it's. In, I mean, it's apparently yeah, the show has been the Shrek one has been there since two thousand and three, so it's had fifteen years. Um, just been there quite a long time. Kung Fu Panda. Um, so they're going to be doing state of the art projections and stuff. You almost feel like, you know, they must have been working on that on the on the actual show quite a while. I, I kind of can't understand why, it, unless they're going to do a major revamp to that actual building at the same time kind of get it ready but I don't know as for me I never really 
I thought, to be honest, after Kung Fu Panda 1, it was pretty much downhill since then. I've only ever watched, like, one Kung Fu Panda short, and I was just like, okay, this kind of gives me, like, Last Airbender vibes, which isn't bad. This last Air- not the movie, the TV yeah. show, let's be correct now, but... <laughs> but, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. Mm. It's that thing as well. I mean, I don't know whether or not they're looking at Shrek as well, that maybe the DreamWorks are... Maybe they need to reboot Shrek because the last ones haven't done as well and they kind of messed up with the timeline and changed... Go- um, so there's not necessarily a bad thing. The attraction's been there for a while. It's kind of a shame because... I kind of always felt like that Shrek show was always fun to go do, no matter how many times I've done it. And I, it was almost, it was a bit timeless, but maybe as well, the, they've messed with the timeline so much, that, you know, they got all the kids and all the rest of it, that it just, it didn't seem to fit with what was going on. I agree. I mean, I I have yet to ride the ride, but I do go and meet, you know, Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona and always have a good time. Yeah. So I, I don't know if they're going to get rid of the, you know, the meet and greet. I would say they would probably keep it. Yeah. But the ride, yeah. I, I don't, I wouldn't mind if it was. No. Yeah. Um, it's definitely for me as well. It's like, we almost feel like, yeah, you can replace it, but we should get, you know, we should have a new Shrek attraction because I think Shrek is kind of, was one of their DreamWorks kind of biggest hits, really. They've just been, They've not, other than the minions, they've everything that's been coming out lately just has not quite been hitting the mark. Yeah, not at all. And I've heard like there's been a lot of like as far as budgeting and stuff, they've been having a lot of trouble. I don't know if they did Kubo and the Two Strings. Mm. I don't remember, but no, that I was a know. good movie. However, I don't know if they did it or not. No, it's definitely I don't know. They just to me, I mean, we only I only watched Trolls um, the other night. For the first time, and even me and my wife, we kind of there were some funny bits in there. You had glitter farts and all this kind of thing, but generally we saw something that was a bit kiddish. Um, it was that kind of thing of I think where Disney often have that point where they can get the adults as well, and I think Shrek did a very good job at that in the first movie of having those little in jokes for, and they've just gradually just got sort of more and more. It's almost like the next level down. Um, and yeah, I mean, this like a trolls shows, you know, a troll show, something like that could be quite fun. You'd almost think, well, you know, they can make a, a little three D movie very e- a lot more easy for like a ten minute like thing for like that now, and just have a couple of different theaters showing different ones and update them a bit here and there. No, I completely agree. And I, I, honestly, I mean, they 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 jumped on the minions so fast that they built a ride like mm. in a ridiculous amount of time. So I. I can see them, like, revamping a new Shrek ride because Shrek is just iconic. Like, yeah. Shrek was when I was young. Yeah. And, I th- I think people, and children still relate to it. Mm. I mean, look, moving now on to kind of an entirely different thing. Um, they basically, they there was a big presentation in Japan for the new Super Mario World, which is going to be is being built over in Japan. They've started building it. They did this kind of cool little presentation of this guy dressed up as Mario running along. Very Japanese. Very cool. Um, very... Um, Sort of showing off this, and they're building a whole new area. Um, there's lots of rumors of Universal, obviously, you know, this fourth gate, this fourth park, and you know, whether or not that is just going to be Nintendo. Um, I, it's, I'm sort of looking, you know, I, you know, they literally could just one two punch Disney with this kind of announcement because Nintendo to me is a very, very strong brand. Mario has now jumped generations, you know, he's been around for you know, 35, 40 years, he's been, that that whole brand is, and it's not going anywhere, you know, literally you've got Super Mario Odyssey coming out this summer, you know, these are still massive brands, and I'm really excited about, to me, a new Super Mario World is something I would love to see, you know, seeing a Nintendo area, I think this is going to be epic. I mean, me personally, I've definitely heard for a while a lot of Nintendo rumors. I, not like I've heard not only Super Mario, but just a Nintendo world. Like so, yeah. like you got Zelda and Mario. Like they would all be like I've heard Islands of Adventure possibly. Like it would take over. Um, well, this I can't think of the section right now. Well, this is the thing: yeah. is like with, with like Islands of Adventure. To me, when we last went, when that opened in like the ninth in the mid late nineties. It was all on trend of the brands at the time. However, time has not necessarily been good to that area because 
obviously the Marvel Zone, they are going to have to replace that eventually. They can't put anything new in. They can only revamp those, you know, eventually they're going to, Marvel going to, or Disney's going to pay them out, or there's some contract deal, we know, we don't know the quite deal of it. Um, exactly. It, that is going to, eventually going to have to come back to Disney. Disney are going to buy it out, basically. They're going to pay their, you know, basically, it wouldn't surprise me they have fun Nintendo World just to get it back, because they know they can do more with it than, because Universal might have it, but they can't do anything more than like they did with the Hulk ride, where they like rebuilt it, but they not can't do anything new. Um, you know the whole Dudley Do Right and the Popeye and those cartoons. Even I'm sitting there thinking, you know, when we went, I wasn't really too familiar with like Dudley Do Right. It wasn't a big European thing, and you know, other than Pluto, um, sort of sorry Popeye, you know. A lot of those characters are very old, very unknown. You know, there's this whole thing about you know, like Lord of the Rings or some of that. But Universal need to mm-hmm. do something with new franchises and get people in. And Island Adventure hasn't really had any bar the actual Harry Potter. Nothing really happened. Yeah, besides the audition, I mean audition, the addition of Harry Potter, it really needs a big update. It, it actually was the comic book line section that I've heard will be replaced. Mm. I, I haven't had it confirmed, but I know for sure that something Nintendo will Yeah, I mean, I think... That, and it, it, yeah. And also, yeah. that is right next to Marvel as well, so that would kind of allow that full suite to come through. I mean, I always thought that, like, Poseidon show and the the the, 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 the Neptune... Log flume, you know, they, they weren't they weren't very good in Simba. The Simba stunt show wasn't it, and so they're just they're just not great. And you know, yeah, you, you, exactly. you, you, you can't you know that could be easily replaced with something else. And that whole area needs something. I think Super Nintendo is something that's they're either going to have to do a major upgrade to Islands of Adventure, or it's going to be. I wouldn't surprise me if it was in a park because Universal. I mean, only this week they have now got. Something like 25, 26, 27 percent of the market share of people going to Orlando. Disney have fallen below the 75 for the first time. Universal are getting more and more attraction. Um, again, I was discussing with my sister in law just before, you know, they're going out. One of the main reasons they're going is they want to do the Halloween Horror Nights and they want to do you know, two days at Universal. They don't want to do the Florida, um, the Volcano Bay because they're not water people. But, you know, we're looking for our next trip, and I instantly now, we're like, well, well, I want three days Universal. You know, this, you know, it used to be just the extra park. Now it's becoming a major section of it, and, you know, they're, they're building it. They, you know, they've done amazingly well, and it's not just because of Harry Potter. Oh, not at all. Like, I've, I've visited about three times since I've gone, and I find more and more things every time that I visit that I fall in love with that make me want to go back. Mm-hmm. I know, like you said before, I read that the Huffington Post had stated that attendance went down in every single Disney park except Shanghai yeah. last year, which is not good. And, you know, like you said, Universal went up. I haven't heard too many good things about Volcano Bay just because they opened too early and not enough attractions were open. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, the Nintendo World would save them. Yeah, I mean, it, we're going to be a few years off it, but the fact that they've already started work in um, Japan, it wouldn't surprise me if, if announcement was anytime soon. Obviously, they need to get the Volcano Bay thing sorted and build on that. Um, if they could, it's that thing as well of. Obviously, if they're building attraction, because I think they're building like a Mario Kart attraction, something like, you know, if they're building it for Japan, they're also building it for other locations as well. So, oh, you know, yeah. it, it you know makes more sense. It just definitely there's a lot going on at Universal, but in some ways they are going to have you know this kind of up one upmanship. You know, Disney have kind of put all the eggs out and put Star Wars and Toy Story Land and. You know, we're still probably going to have an Epcot announcement and some other things coming in. And we're still, you know, we're still waiting on Marvel, really. Um, Universal are going to have to hit back with something big. And, you know, they're, they're not really hitting the franchises out of their own accord in the cinema at the minute. Unless, they, I mean, they could really do with getting DC there. Oh, yeah, especially with The Mummy. I mean, but to be fair, I didn't see a lot of promotion. Because granted, The Mummy is my favorite ride, but when I went through the gift shop, I didn't see any advertisement for the new movie like, at all until like the week of. Um, I do believe there's a, there's some kind of Tom Cruise has kind of some kind of thing with his likeness. He's not very you, you don't see a lot of merchandise for any movie of his. He's he's kind of got um 
you know, you, you don't see a lot of merchandise for anything about him. Um, so that might be why um, there was going to be some, like, mummy pop vinyls and they kind of seem to have, like, vanished and gone away. Um, so that could be it. Personally as well, as far as The Mummy goes, I loved the first movies. I loved all of them. I even went to see Scorpion King at, at the at the cinema. Um, but for me, Tom Cruise, he's just become boring. He's do, He does the same character in the same you know there's nothing intriguing about him at all he's still trying to pretend that he's 20 30 years younger than he is that's my own personal view anything he's done in the last 10 years i really can't think of anything that's really been amazing to me I, it's he's to me he's not really using that time that he could do much better that's true as far as you know anything mario as far as Super Mario went, I just see a Rainbow Road poster and I'm good to go. That's all I need. Yeah, I mean, they've got so much. I mean, just doing Zelda, you know, you've got Yoshi, you've got Tetris, you've got Metroid. There's so many brands that, what if you're not a gamer, you might not necessarily recognize some of the stuff, but they're still going to be cool rides anyway. But... You're gonna have so many parents that have grown up on Super Ma on the Super Mario and the Nintendo, and the kids are growing up with the DS and there's now the Nintendo Switch. That these games just keep keep churning through. And Mario Kart, you know, only this last month was released on the Switch, and was the fastest selling game in the entire series. You know, and it's been around you know twenty plus years. This this franchise is just as good. Mario is one of them most well-recognized characters of it's a massive coup for universal um and that very very good and it wouldn't surprise me if they went after it you know if they i mean i don't know if they would but you know if you could get if they can get sonic and a few other things in there they can really push push that side of things yeah. because video games are just becoming a bigger and bigger part of pop culture you know people are growing up with them differently it's funny because i also remember seeing an article this week about um, the WWE are even like looking at theme park stuff. It's like it's like can I get you know I should get the WWE in there as well. You know they're based down in Orlando. You know it's like there are so many different franchises that are long life that they could really need to get in get in gear with. And uh, I do still think Super Mario anything Nintendo I think is going to be great. I feel like anything that has touched multiple generations, as far as Universal, if Universal can get it and it's touched multiple generations, it will do well. Just like how Harry Potter has done it, Nintendo has done it. I wouldn't even be mad if they did like a, like a Miyazaki, Miyazaki, sorry, Miyazaki like world. They could do wonders with that. Yeah, I mean, also like even just down to, I mean, like even just down to like Nintendo as well. You've also got Pokemon as well. You know, that is another a franchise that could be massive it's just there's so much potential and i really do think into i um, university have got a, a good thing again it might be that side of things that i think mario is still going to be a big enough draw in his own right um but i think it might i mean i guess to be honest mario is a much bigger franchise than avatar absolutely and all of, all i know is if once they officially announce that they're going to come to orlando they might be in some trouble Yes, that should be good. I can't wait to see what they're doing. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely looks great to me. On that note, guys, let us know what you guys think of all the stuff going on at Universal. Let us know your thoughts on all of that there. Um, Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PT and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Crypto. And on that note, you can hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest episodes on this channel. You can also check out our gaming channel as well. We are giving away a copy of Cars Free Driven to Win. You can get that whichever win um, platform system that the person wins can choose on that one. So you definitely want to check that one out over at DizKingdom.com forward slash giveaway. And finally, you can also check us out on that website, DizKingdom.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We shall see you guys soon. Later. Bye.